Hey guys, here with my good friend and business partner, Marie Dodds. Hey, Mar. Hi, good to see you, David. You too, bro. Uh, we're in California today. Uh, we've got a lot of people coming to see us, but really just wanted to kind of catch up with Mur. and there's so much going on in our lives right now. It's Amen to that. God's on the move. Ooh, I tell you. So, buddy, what do you think? What do we got planned for this year? And we've got some interesting stuff going on. Well, what we're really trying to do is right now is focus on not only our organizational legal structure, which is quite a fascinating story. We probably don't have time to get into it, but our legal structure is going to be so different because it involves um, the spiritual component of how you operate in a business sense with a spiritual model. And even our lawyers have difficulty putting that one together because it's new language. It's new order. It's a new way of doing things. But my primary focus is trying to not only pull the executive team together, as you know, David, uh, being part of that, but is to begin to unite the global church and finding leaders from around the world that have influence in other nations. And these leaders that have influence in other nations are going to be key to opening up those nations to the gospel of the evangelism that we're going to do, the, pro the, the assignment of evangelism we're going to be doing as a result of this movie assignment. And I, I say that word assignment specifically because we've been referring to what we do as a project and the Lord spoke to us and said, this isn't a project, this is my assignment yeah. and you're to do it for me. Yeah. And it has changed everything on how we do business yeah. when it's not just another project or another movie or another event. It's about doing something God wants to see done in the nations on a major evangelism component and uniting the global church as we do it. It's exciting. Yeah, I keep for me getting to the words of unity and evangelism. And uh, it's exciting that people are starting to get it now, where they're actually calling us and we're not chasing people anymore. And we're not chasing investors, that people are actually calling us. Yeah, that's been a real switch. We've been at this a long time, David, you in particular. And uh, when we talked to people before, it was a nice thing to talk about, but they didn't really jump on board. In the last three or four months, it's like God has flipped a switch. And suddenly, investors are chasing us. And I say that carefully. Uh, global leaders are coming to us. But we're not striving to do this. We can f see God's Spirit the Holy Spirit is all over this. And every time we talk to somebody, they want to be involved and they want to get on board. And it's a complete change from where we were a year ago, two years ago for sure, because I think it's for such a time as this. We all know we're in an end time season. We don't know how long that's going to be, but we are rapidly moving. The world's in terrible shape and it needs answers. And our assignment will depict very clearly heaven and hell and people are going to have to make a decision after seeing the resurrection movie that we're involved with about whether they're going to heaven or whether they're going to hell and when they make that decision we're going to be there to support them hopefully uh, on their commitment to following christ yeah i think what you said is, is really interesting is, is these global leaders these amazing ministries are reaching out to us and you know, a lot of them are our friends already. We've been working with some of them for many years, but it really feels like we're in God's steps now, God's timing. Uh, I think this, for me, this is the first time I felt at ease and that we're actually in the right timing of everything now. Yeah, I would, I would really uh, affirm that. It, um, and I think everybody's realizing in kingdom initiatives, nobody can do it alone. We can't do it alone. A movie isn't going to do it alone. That's right. Other major organizations aren't going to do it alone. We need to come together in unity around whatever we can without letting all of the little things in our theological experiences scare us away from one another yeah. to do the thing that God has asked us to do. And if we're going to impact the world, we need to do it together. Yeah. And I think it's laying down our agendas and, and coming humbly to each other and saying, God, what do you want us to do for you today? Amen. It's, um, that's one of the tricks of, of doing what we're doing as an executive team is making sure we're not just always doing business, that we are saying, God, what do you want us to do? And how do you want us to do this? And what do we need to do to make that happen? As opposed to just rolling out a business plan, which we have, and it's a good one, but we want to know that God is in charge of it and that we're submitting everything to him as we step forward. 
And I think also, you, you know, we're seeing things happen and play out that I don't think we really thought it was going to go this way. Like That's I know true. We did have a, a really good, great plan, but the actual season of it walking out and how God really wanted this to happen has surprised me a little bit. Um, I would concur. It's um, we we have a nice plan. We lay things out, and then God gets hold of it, turns it upside down, and so we've had to make some pretty significant adjustments to make sure we're doing it God's way. And it isn't the way we might have planned it for the last number of years, yeah. but it's a flow of the Lord that we need to get on board with and make the adjustments. And for the most part, I think we're on the right track. I don't think we've arrived. Um, we're meeting with global leaders even here today as we're doing this interview that are uh, traveling to nations all over the world, involved in major ministries, and they want to be part of what we're doing. And it's part of that kingdom unification and team building that we're doing. Yeah, I agree. So guys, we love you. Thanks for uh, joining us today. Uh, keep praying. Go up to the website, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Amen. Thanks very much. Bye, guys.